Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about basic object creation and manipulation. Okay, so we're gonna start with creating an object. So, uh, we will, on the palette, go to, uh, let me just turn all of these off. I'm gonna go to the palette and I'm gonna click on surfaces and you'll see a sphere right here. So all you have to do is click on the tool and just click anywhere on the modeling window like this. Now, when you first see, when you first create an object like this, you can't, uh, you, uh, you'll see a, a, tool, a manipulator right here and you can use these to move the object around. So for example, if I click on the red arrow right here, it'll move about the X axis. If I click on the green arrow, it'll move out the Y axis. And if I click on the blue arrow, it'll go up and down and move along the Z axis. Now you can also click on the cube right here in order to scale, same thing. It'll scale about the X axis. If you click on the green, it'll scale about the Y axis, and blue, it'll scale about the Z axis. And you can also rotate it. So click on the, um, on the circle or a sphere right here, and it'll rotate this. Same thing here. And also, if you click on the center right here, it'll just rotate about where your cursor goes, like this. And let's say you want to cancel this, uh, cancel any of the moves right here. You can just press Control Z and it'll undo. Now you can also find this on right here, the menu, you can say edit and undo like that. Now, uh, besides the sphere, you can also create other models, uh, uh, other primitive shapes. So if you, you, uh, if you go here, you'll notice that there's a yellow, uh, yellow arrow. So all you have to do is click and hold and you'll be able to create other shapes such as torus, cylinder, cone, cube, and plane. So let's create one of each. So I'm just gonna click on torus like that. And a cylinder right here. And I'll put a cone there, put a cube here and on plane right here. And you'll see all the primitive shapes here. Now, when you create an object like this, the manipulator only shows up in the beginning. However, if you go to the palette and click on transform and you say move, you can click the tool and click the object like this. Oh, I think you have to click, uh, pick the object first. So I'm gonna pick the object first and I'm gonna say move. And if you press the left mouse button, it'll go move about the X axis. If you click on the Y mouse button, uh, middle mouse button, it'll move out the Y axis. And if you click on the right mouse button, it'll move about the Z axis. And it is the same thing with rotate. So I'm gonna press rotate and click on the object. So if I press left mouse button, it will rotate about the X axis, as you can notice right here. If I click on, click on, uh, click and drag on the middle mouse button, it will rotate about the Y axis. And if I click on the right mouse button, it will rotate around the Z axis like that. Also, you can scale the objects too. So if I just press a scale and click on the object, can scale like this. Now, if you do a known pro so this is just a scale. So everything is a scaling up at the same rate. However, if you do a known proportional scale or it's a non P scale. So if I click on, uh, let me just click on the tool and let's manipulate something else. So maybe we'll do a cylinder right here. So I'm gonna say no proportional scale. I'm gonna click on this. I think I have to click on the objects first. So I'm gonna go control shift, left mouse button, 
and pick object like this and I'll say no proportion scale if you same thing that mouse button always controls the x-axis y uh, middle mouse button always control y axis and the right mouse button always the z-axis so let's say you want to no proportion scale this way you can just click on the left mouse button and let's say it it's we want to make it a little bit wider then you'll just click on y, uh, the middle mouse button and you let's say you want to make it taller you can click on the right mouse button and it'll scale up like this okay um so i think that covers uh, the most common transform tools in the palette However, it is very, very rare that um, anyone, any modeler or even students use the palette and to transform because everything is available in the market menu. So all you have to do is control click, uh, control shift middle mouse button and you'll see all of those tools right here. So uh, let's try this with uh, the donut right here, the Taurus. I'm just gonna say I want to move this and I'm just gonna control shift middle mouse button or the scroll wheel I'm gonna say move same thing the left mouse button after you press this tool uh, on the marking menu the left mouse button controls uh, will control it along the X the middle mouse button along the Y the Z mouse button along the uh, 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 the right mouse button along the Z axis so let's say I want to move this right here, maybe a little bit there, and I'm also going to move it up a little bit. You all you have to do is click the right mouse button. Same thing with uh, scale. So all you have to do is scale and click and drag. You'll be able to enlarge it. Let's say you don't like the shape and you want to make it a little bit more uh, oval looking. I'm gonna say no proportion scale and I'm gonna, I can just stretch it like this maybe increase the height a little bit like that so um, you can also do a rotation so if I want to rotate it like this then I just have to click on the right uh, left mouse button like this and maybe I just want to rotate it along the z-axis and I can just do this all right that concludes this lesson Thank you for watching.